being a Muslim woman, do you see your particular position as a defiance or as a representation, as of representation? You know, I don't see it as either. I mean, I mean it may sound uh, strange, but I, I don't think of myself as a Muslim woman. I just think of myself, uh, I, I try not to think of myself too much, in fact. I just try to think of the next thing that I need to do. Um, you know, I, I wasn't elected as the president of ISNA to be the woman president. I was elected as president to serve my whole community, men and women, um, children and adults, and to look at how we can be a caring, loving community. We have a lot of challenges in our community. Um, we have people who have been, you know, since, since the so-called war and terror, who were treated very, you know, um, in, in terrible ways, um, who were mistreated, whose, whose rights were taken away, um, families that were torn apart. At the same time, we have, we have some, you know, fanatical ideological people who are trying to keep trying to inject these, these hateful ideas um, into our community. So we've got this kind of from both sides. And our, and, and our responsibility is to respond with, not just with ideas, but with a sense of, of love and compassion that manifests itself in our mosques, in our Islamic centers, in our schools, in our organizations, so that, so that we are a place of love, friendship, brotherhood, and sisterhood. And, and I think that's, you know, um, I've seen, I've learned about love and compassion and mercy from as many men as I have from women. You know, you see, you see that kind of compassion and kindness everywhere. And so I look to, I look to all members of our community to work together to build that. The Quran says the believing men and the believing women are partners with one another. Awliya. They're partners with one another in joining the good and forbidding the evil so this is this is our goal and if I can if I can help sort of shore up that half of that equation that sometimes has been forgotten or marginalized then I'm glad to do it but always remembering that that we are as the Prophet Muhammad said we are we are like men and women that the woman's like a shikhaq to, to men that we're like twins um, and and we can't have one without the other um, so, inshallah, there are, you know, all the other wonderful women who are out in our community, who are uh, working, who are teaching, um, who are serving, will continue to be recognized and acknowledged. And, and that's really my final kind of plea, is that, is that people would open their eyes and simply see what we already have, the richness that we already have, because there are amazing women in our community who are serving, are very humble and modest, so they're overlooked, um, and, and they, they like to be overlooked because they have a deep sense of humility based on their spirituality, but we need to lift them up as role models so that others, especially the younger people, can see, yes, m this kind of service is appreciated and I need to contribute as well. Are you satisfied with letting others misrepresent Islam? No. We must do something. Support 877 Y Islam Project. They have put billboards in over 40 cities, hundreds of subway and bus ads. 877 Y Islam airs radio advertisements in major cities and recently launched TV commercials on local Fox, CNN and CBS channels. Send your donations today.